Hey, what's up? Welcome back. In this episode, you'll see all about how to set up a webhook handler. In this case, we're going to start off with Stripe webhooks. We're going to handle those, and that's going to set us up really well and have a, a good foundation for us to start doing connect onboarding. So here we're going to generate a new controller, Rails G controller webhooks, and that is going to be a controller that receives post requests from third parties. So we're going to open that up, and we're going to say um, skip before action, verify authenticity token, and this create method is where we're going to create a new event. We're going to say event is event.create. If you missed where we created the event model, head over and check out the previous episode um, where we um, set up events. We talked a lot about enums, so that was pretty cool. So now we have data. This is going to be params. And we're also going to set the source here to params source. And we're also going to store off the, actually, I think that's probably good for now say event.create bang. And then what we want to do is render back a status of OK. But ultimately, we need some way to process this event. So we're going to set up some event processing now in a background job. Before we do that, though, let's make sure we have our route configured. So we're going to say if we receive a post request to slash webhook slash uh, source, we're going to make that go to webhooks create. All right, so let's generate a new job. So we're going to say Rails G job event. Okay, so we're gonna have a handle event job, handle event job. This will take in the event and do some processing on the event. So now back in our webhooks controller, we're gonna say uh, handle event job dot perform later and pass in the event. Now in order to set up background jobs and background job handling, in production, I'm probably going to want to use Sidekick. So let's say bundle add Sidekick. And that's going to add the Sidekick gem to our application. We'll also open up application here and set it up so that we're going to set config.activejobqadapter to Sidekick so that it uses Sidekick as the queue adapter. Next, we want to make sure that Sidekick starts up and starts processing our jobs every time we start the server. So let's open up our proc file and add a new thing here called the worker. And that's going to say bundle exec sidekick just to start up sidekick when we restart the server. Now we can kill and restart the server. And now we have a new worker that is up and running and working. All right, let's see if our webhook handler can actually receive post requests. So we have our server up and running. Now we should be able to say curl dash x post to localhost 3000 slash webhooks with dash d, I don't know, some data is data. Let's, let's just see how this lands. All right, we sent a post request and it says no route matches post to slash webhooks. All ah, right, because this should have been from webhooks slash some source. We'll just say it's curl. All right, we got back a status of okay. Now let's look and see what's going on here. So it says performing handle event. That's great. So if we open up Rails console, we should see a new event. And we do. The data is in here. We've got data. And we also have our controller create action. The source was curl. The status of the event is pending. That's all fantastic. All right, so at this point, we're ready to start testing our Stripe webhooks that are going to come in. Now, um, we can use the Stripe CLI for this. I've already installed the Stripe CLI. There's a bunch of instructions for how to install it. You can install it in a lot of different ways from a lot of different package managers and things. I think I used Brew or Homebrew. So now I can say Stripe login, and that will open up this browser. This allows me to pick which Stripe account I want to authenticate with. So I'm gonna use my demo account here and say just trust access for now. By saying Stripe listen, I will create a direct connection between Stripe and my local machine. That way, when events happen on my Stripe account, they'll be forwarded to my local machine. One way that we can trigger those events is we can say Stripe trigger like customer.created, and that will fire off an event or that will cause an event to fire. And here you see this customer created event came in. Now in practice, we want to say Stripe listen forward to dash dash forward to localhost 3000 slash webhooks slash Stripe. And that will make sure that any events that fire on our account are forwarded to localhost 3000 slash Stripe. So if again, we say trigger this customer created event, we're gonna see that a post request came in to webhook slash Stripe and there's the event ID and we, we handled that event or we received that event. So if we open up Rails console again and say event.last, 
Now we have a new event from the source being Stripe with a whole bunch of data about a, the brand new customer that, um, that was just created on the Stripe account. There's another flag we want to pass in addition to forward to, and that is so that we can handle connect webhooks. So we're gonna say forward connect to localhost 3000 slash webhooks slash Stripe. It's gonna be the same endpoint that will handle both direct or account events that are firing and events for each of our connected accounts. So this is the command that we want to run to fire up this Stripe listener. Now, instead of running this every time, again, I'm going to open up the proc file and create another service here. We're gonna call it Stripe, and this is gonna have our Stripe listen command so that every time we restart the server, we start forwarding those events in so that if any events are happening on our Stripe account while we're building, those will be delivered to our local webhook endpoint. So now what we can do is, for instance, we can come over here again and say trigger customer created. And now if we say event.last, this is gonna have a customer created event for this customer that was just created. All right, so at, uh, at this point, what we, what we might wanna do is open up our handle event job and think about how we want to route events that come in. So here, what we might do is something like um, a switch based on the, the source for the event. So case event.source. When it's Stripe, we're gonna handle the Stripe event. Handle Stripe event for the event. And here we might also switch on the type, the event type. So what I wanna do is say like Stripe event is stripe event.construct from event.data. That will construct an instance of a Stripe event object from the data that was passed in. And now we can say maybe like, yeah, uh, switch on the type of the Stripe event. And we can say something like when it was customer.created, then we can say handle customer created and pass down the Stripe event. So now we can say handle customer created, and that'll give us the Stripe event. So now what we could do is just say like puts um, customer.created and then maybe like the ID of the Stripe event or something, yeah. And let's just play around and see if that works. So we should be able to trigger a new customer created that should flow in and be handled by our job. But it looks like our job crashed and it says, do you mean string? when we were talking about Stripe. Ah, that's because we haven't actually installed the Stripe gem. So let's do that now. We'll say bundle add Stripe. That's gonna add the Stripe gem to our installation. Then we're gonna open up config initializers, stripe.rb and set our API key. Stripe.api key is rails.application.credentials.stripe secret. Now I'm gonna open up my Rails credentials with Rails credentials colon edit. Now I'm specifying the editor that I want to use when I open up and edit my credentials. Here I'm going to set our first credentials. Those are gonna be for Stripe and we're gonna say secret. And initially this is just gonna be my uh, test mode secret key. So I'm gonna to go to my dashboard, go to developers, API keys, and I'm going to copy my secret key, paste it in here, and then I should be good to go. Now, when we run bin dev again, we have uh, this new gem that's installed for Stripe and we should be able to create or trigger a new customer created event and that fired and somewhere here in the logs, we should see our output. Here we go, customer.created and that is the ID of the new customer that was created. So that looks like it's working well. So we've got a system now that will handle webhooks. That's fantastic because we're gonna to need to handle webhooks while we're doing custom connect onboarding, which is gonna allow us to create Stripe accounts on behalf of other uh, creators that are using our platform to manage their content or you know run courses or whatever. So we're going to, in the next episode, make some more progress. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate your time and attention and we'll see you in the next one.